Well, joining us to give us his view on this situation is a former UK Chancellor, Lord Norman Lamont. Thank you very much indeed, Lord Lamont, for being with us this morning. Um, just looking at what's happening in Europe, we've seen this huge bailout package being put together, um, and yet we're seeing the euro falling this morning. Is there a concern that politicians just can't control the markets? Well, I think there's always that uh, concern, and politicians are very foolish to pretend they can control what they can't control. I have to say, though, I'm quite surprised that the euro hasn't recovered somewhat after this gigantic package, which was characterized as shock and awe, and also that power to intervene in the bond markets for the ECB actually to buy the bonds. That may or may not be a good thing in a macroeconomic sense, but I would have thought that it would have had a big influence on the markets. Mm. I'm quite surprised. The fact that it, it, that it doesn't seem to be able to uh, influence the markets much, uh, what does that say? Does that say that they need to go further? There needs to be a common fiscal policy before the markets will believe this? Well, I think in logic, I've always been a firm opponent of the euro and I negotiated Britain's opt-out from the euro. I've never believed it could work because of the divergence of different European economies. Yes, I think for the euro to work, you do need uh, an economic government, a common fiscal policy, a common expenditure policy, but I can't really see that happening. What I think you will get are just tighter rules, people supervising each other more, and that never really works. It didn't work with Greece in the first place. That was how Greece's deficit came to be believed to be lower than it was. And so what's the end game here? Do the laggards, as Noriel, Noriel Rubini say, you have to leave the euro? Well, I don't think that will happen in the short run. I've always believed the euro would survive its first recession, but maybe its second recession uh, would be the one that would lead to the eventual breakup. This can only, I think, happen through public opinion and possibly the bond markets working together. I've always thought we would see rioting on the streets. I didn't uh, envisage it quite so quickly. But I thought political unrest, political dissatisfaction was what would force the politicians really to reconsider the euro. Mm. We're not quite at that stage, but I think it is on the cards, possibly, over the medium term. Now, the pound is also coming under pressure today. Uh, what do you make of the new coalition government in the UK? Well, I think the pound uh, perhaps shouldn't be under such pressure because I think the whole point of the coalition is to act more quickly than Labour wanted to act on the fiscal deficit. And the Liberals, who rather sympathised, I think, with Labour in the election on mm. the timing of deficit reduction, have come on board and accepted the idea that there needs to be early action to reduce the deficit. So I think the coalition, the, the whole reason that it was formed was in order to be able to have a stable government that could deal with the deficit. Now, Mervyn King has approved these uh, plans. Um, what do you think of that? Does it undermine the BOE's independence uh, that it actually has approved the plans of one government? No, I don't think so. If he had dis disagreed with the government, people would have said he was asserting his independence. I think the point is he's free to disagree and free to agree and support as well. Um, the, the fact that he showed his independence with Labour uh, I don't think in any way should be interpreted in a party political sense. Now we've got a Chancellor now who is younger than uh, England's uh, goalkeeper. What advice <laughs> do you have for George Osborne? Uh, well, I think get on cutting that deficit. Uh, that is the number one priority. I think George Osborne is very determined to do that. He sees very clearly, I've talked to him often, he sees very clearly the dangers of the deficit. And How will you work with Vince Cable? Uh, well, we'll have to see how that works. I think they've got to be careful not to be too anti-bank in their rhetoric, not mm. too... And, I mean, there are reforms that need to take place with the banking system, but I think we need to be careful to keep uh, a vibrant banking industry in this country. Lord Lamont, thank you very much indeed for joining us.